Hello everybody, back once again. As you can see, I'm here exactly where I left off. I was actually uh, checking out a few things and I forgot to actually not look at what the premium membership does. So the premium membership uh, has multiple different benefits that you can see. So you can get increased chi recovery time, well, shortened, so you're uh, only sitting there for 19 seconds, like when I was knocked down there. Uh, the quest currency rewards are increased by 10%, which means it could be big, it could not be big, I don't know. Uh, store outfits in the wardrobe, which I'm pretty sure is this. So I'm guessing uh, you can not store them right now maybe you can I don't know um, but maybe you can store more I, I don't know since I don't have the premium membership uh, I didn't buy it for the one test coin as you saw um, I uh, sh it shows me as having like it opens up the inventory. Oh, that's the inventory. So I don't, I don't know if one of these is just, uh, oh, different backgrounds. Okay. And what's, it? oh, interesting. So you can try out how things appear on the other races if you ever wanted to make one. But um, I don't know if there's. Maybe you could just store them in your inventory instead if you don't have the premium subscription. I don't know. Um, but then it's able to sell tele -addition, 10 additional items in Marketplace each day, so it seems like there's a daily limit on the Marketplace, which may or may not be bad, depends on how much you are wanting to sell. Uh, base listing fee for the Marketplace is discounted by an additional 10%, so there's a listing fee which is very common in auction house based uh, transactions for MMOs which isn't a big deal. It's a little nice that you can lower that by being a premium but it's not game breaking. Um, five more items on the currency exchange each day. So uh, can I actually open that up? Let's see. Currently unavailable, so no, I can't. Um, so I don't know what that is exactly, but as you saw when I went into the uh, Hong Moon store here, the Hong Moon coins can be obtained by selling gold at the currency exchange. So I don't know um, exactly how much gold you get per, or Hong, how many Hong Moon coins you get for how many gold. Um, Okay, and then you can increase the number of item sales to vendors to five. Okay, uh, so it sounds like you have a limited number of times you can sell items to vendors, which is interesting. Um, increased experience points from enemies by 100%, so essentially by subscribing you get double the EXP, which, while it costs you, uh, to do that, you also save the money of having to constantly buy EXP boosters from the store or save the gold from having to constantly do EXP boosters from the store. Uh, grants additional EXP from daily and field quests, which is nice. Uh, grants additional Hong Moon coins, which is also nice. Uh, reduces the cost of weapon glamour, so you can, I'm guessing, change up the appearance of your weapon as well. Um, then you get 10% additional guild points for gathering and crafting, uh, able to use exclusive tab in Dragon Express. I don't know what the Dragon Express is. So, next survey or reward available. Well, let's see if I can find Dragon Express down here. Duel, crossover dungeons, party finder, world map, character status plan. Uh. Hmm. Let's see. Dragon trade union, trade keepers. Okay.
cat only. I'm interested in what this cat only stuff is. Male only, cat only. But these are all different uh, outfits that you can have. I have not found. Oh, okay. And this actually tells you the ranks. So purples are called heroics, blues are superiors. Um, I'm gonna guess like refined and basic. Okay, so greens refined, whites basic. And so it appears that they do, however, keep in a similar uh, scheme for uh, uh, tiers as other MMOs. So white, green, purple uh, in that, or right, white, green, blue, purple in that order. Which is very nice instead of having a completely different scheme. Uh, oh, and as you can see, there is a durability on the weapons, uh, which mine, st mine didn't start out at full durability, so it's not like that short little combat that I did earlier was, um, took it down 23 uh, durability. It wasn't full when I equipped it. Um, let's see, but as for the rest of this, of course you get additional daily dash spin which I actually do remember from the uh, Japanese client. I didn't really play play it a whole lot, but uh, it doesn't appear that I have a daily dash spin here. There was a um, icon. Oh, never mind. There we go. So I've got three spins remaining. Premium members will receive. So if I click this icon... Oh, interesting. Okay, so if I... Go to premium day, price one, test volume. Oh, I don't have any... Okay. So I don't actually have any... Is the so there is a rank system here, one of 7,192, which is interesting because some of these uh, have rank points that are required. But um, I don't know how you get higher rank points. But and then that. And it said that I could purchase it for one test coin, but I don't know how to get a test coin. Because when I tried to purchase here, premium membership for 30 days, it says I need money. So I don't have a test coin, apparently. Maybe I get test coins later. I don't know. But let's spin this. So as you can see, once it lands on something, it'll... Uh, move from here down that number of spaces. And I got a Hong Ming key which gave me Hong Hong Moon Hot Dragons. So what is the Hong Moon unsealing chart? Lucky healing tonic. So I'm guessing that an adventure token. Oh and a Hong Moon key. So I got multiple things, as you can see, each spin you get the items that you passed over, which is very nice. Uh, I don't know if each day you get three spins, or if you just get one. I don't know. Um, uh, remove seals on weapons, soul shields, and accessories. Uh, so this one increases EXP gain in combat by 100%, but only combat and it only lasts for 30 minutes. Uh, still in effect when near death or after death. Okay, so it lasts through death it looks like. And then there's Lucky Healing Tonic which covers 5000 HP um, with a one minute cooldown which is really nice seeing as how I only have a few hundred HP right now, let's see. Uh, so that doesn't... I'll, uh, 
keep, or I'll do the other two spins, so. Or, or I can't. Oh, okay. I see what it is. So, it says that I have two of three remaining, which is kind of true, yet kind of not, because I only get those two extra spins if I'm a premium member. But, I mean, let's see. Level three or level 50. I can't imagine that all of these are very. Yeah, none of these seem to be really um, game breaking. Sure, you do get a few things a bit faster, like these uh, soul stone crafting materials and whatnot, but. Uh, and these valor stones. But it's, it doesn't appear to be something that would be uh, truly game-breaking in the end. Maybe these antidotes would be, though. Oh, that's just, uh, it's a, for one zone only and it allows you to. Oh, okay, and then you've got an expanded inventory item here, which I'm not entirely keen on, but you get one fairly early on, so if, unless you are extremely unlucky in how many spaces you move each time, you should get that within e even potentially the, the second day. Uh, so, I'm, I mean, I'm only three spaces away from it, so unless you get very unlucky, which I mean, the one and two are, of course, the largest numbers on there. To make it stacked against you but they do for the most part make it so you get at least part of the big things very early which is very nice and then let's see so I want to add all these to my inventory yep So the unsealing charm removes seals on weapons, soul shields, and accessories. I don't know what that is yet because I haven't actually run into any. Uh, unlock chests and treasure chests. So there must be certain, yeah, certain chests require specific keys and amount required may differ depending on item quality. So there are differences in what you can and cannot unlock uh, chest wise. Let's see. So, I can't actually go deeper in here. I was kind of a little disappointed with that fight because even though I'd said that, um... Let me go. Thank you. It said that there was a... Whoa. That's new. So, there are now monsters attacking. Which, as you saw from the introduction sequence, that something does happen here, which means this is... Oh, cutscene. Some of the transitions can be a little jarring. Cyan. Oh. It's yourself you should worry about. I'll kill you! Oh no! <laughs> well, looks like I'm gonna be fighting people potentially here shortly. <clears throat> Though I'm vastly outmatched. So I do have main uh, character status, which means that it's very possible that I will be able to defeat people that they cannot even run. Uh, touch. Now. But we'll see. But he is one scarred up bastard. And Master seeing all the death that's occurred. Where 
hears the sword hum. Jin Soyun, I saw you die. And yet here I stand, old man. You, Gobong. <laughs> Oh, it's these monsters. Okay. Let's see if I can defeat them. Defeat things within the right area. Okay. I do, like I said, I do have to get a little bit more used to the fact that this is. More of an action based MMO than I'm used to in any regard. Huh. I think it sounds like something dropping right in Steam. So there is. Oh, I'm all sorry. Disappoint me, Master. Is this the true power of Hong Moon? Maybe the poison I put in your daily medicine wasn't even necessary. Poison in my medicine? But why? To get the Hong Moon's secret techniques. Though, with the school's performance today, I wonder why I ever bothered. Feeling weak, Master? I should have just taken the secret scrolls from you. <laughs> Stand aside. Hmm? The Twilight's Edge.
Don't trust the bad guys, Master. Come on. Now, let my pupil go. <coughs> Should I go and finish the job? Don't bother. No one survives the Black Rose. circle. There's that lady in white again, floating in the sky. Or swimming towards us. Wake up. Wake up. Please. Please. You are our last hope. Please stop her. Stop Jin Soyeon. Right? Goodness. I can't imagine what you've gone through. I'm numb, so you. I should tell Papa you're awake. You've never heard of Captain Dochin? Really? He's from the Hung Moon School, like you. He left Heaven's Reach a long time ago, but he's a legend here. He's captain of the Bamboo Guard, off battling the Black Ram. Papa is always fighting. I'm scared he won't make it back one day. The Black Ram are already on the beach. I'm so worried. If only we had more warriors. Goodness, this could be the end. Really? Thank you. But be careful. 
Please, everyone's right outside. Don't forget your weapon. Cold Sujin might know what to do. He's right outside. Okay, so we're back to... I don't have... So these are copper. So how do I get gold then? I'm guessing so many copper equals so many gold. Okay, so this is uh, the actual start now. You're the home alone student, right? Like the captain? Thanks. You look pretty strong for someone who has style. If you're half as good as a captain, then you'll be a big help. Captain Dochin's the one who fished you out of the water. Run over and show him his gratitude. You can't miss him. He's the one-man army cleaning up the beach. Yep, that's him. I can tell you're itching for a fight. He's a great warrior, but I'm sure he'd like some help. I love your attitude. Just head to the coast and lend a hand. Sack the ocean's right over there. Cop him out. Stamina does not work in combat because I tried sprinting right then and it didn't work. Why am I taking it? Okay. He's lucky you came when you did. Watt Chill's a good kid. He'll owe you his life. Oh, wait. Oh, the one Dochin rescued that. It's amazing you're still on your feet. I've never seen anything like your wound. It's terribly fascinating. Dochin called it the mark of the Black Rose. He was worried you'd never wake. Seeing you up now is incredible. You should take a rest and then talk with him. The Black Ram had retreated from him, so I'll attend to the injured. The Black Ram come back then, but he laughs when you leave the table. Return to the healing house where you woke up. I will send Dochin your way, and we'll work out a counterattack. Hurry, let me see him. So it's not terribly slow paced. To see your strength has returned. You were unconscious for many days, and I feared the worst. But those from the Hong Moon School are a hardy lot. I should know. I was one of Master Hong's students long ago. My name is Dojin, and I lead the Bamboo Guard here in the village. A few nights ago, 
I saw a firestorm raging high on heaven's reach. Fearing the worst, I sailed out to help, but arrived only too late. I, I saw the destruction, bodies floating in the sea. What has happened to the Hong Moon School? Jin's Perhaps Mr. Hong mentioned that name once or twice. What would drive this woman to such depravity? And how did she infiltrate the school? By the heavens! Loose! I only met him once. Something unsettling clung to him. It was unmistakable. Tell me, did Master Hong escape the destruction? This news weighs heavily on me, warrior. But my immediate concern must be the safety of the village. Black Ram marauders who attacked Bamboo Village must be stopped for good. Perhaps I can gather intelligence about this Jinsen. But in the meantime, can I ask you to stay here and help defend the village? Since you are one with great potential, John is the term used within the world of warriors for such a person. Go forth and honor the Hong Moon Way, John. Okay. As you can see, that was significantly less experience than what I've been gaining. Which isn't bad. Let's see. Also. There's a little bit of a look at my character. I didn't actually show the character creation part because the creation is extensive in this game, which means I spent almost a good 45 minutes today making my character, but up until then, I actually did this. This is a character that I made at the JP client, the Japanese client, and it took me two, three hours uh, just to get the one character how I liked it. And I made several characters on that client just to test each one. So the character creation is extensive. You've got sliders for the arm, arm length, arm width, hand, hand length, hand width, eyes, eye width, eye size, eye pupil size. I, uh, you have sliders for almost everything in this game. And so. It, it took me quite a while, and it, oh, I did not want to sit there recording every last little detail, and honestly, it seemed to me like it probably would have been boring if I did. But I like the way that they do set it up, so you know when you're going into an instance area with that little uh, sigil in the area. So even if the area is not instanced up until that point there are certain spots where it is instanced to progress the story and tell you that hey this is what's going to happen or this is only happening to you kind of thing uh down here as you can see my exp bar which 730 out of 1600 apparently i did not gain any experience for fighting maybe uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe I did 400, 470, uh, I thought it said 760. Let's see, any other experience? Doesn't look like it. Which means, oh, 260. Okay, so there. Yeah, the experience gains here are a lot lower than what they were, which isn't too bad. It's still... Okay, and so food and everything are automatically assigned to the bars, it looks like. But for right now, that's all I'm going to do once again. Thank you for watching, uh, and I will see you in the next video.